Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel. And ngayon po, I'm very excited because I'm going to share with you how to make our resume. So nowadays po, na maraming walang trabaho at marami pong naghanap ng trabaho, especially the, new, the fresh grad, I am very excited kasi po, tuturo ko po sa inyo how to make power resume. Excited na ba kayo? So, I hope na marami kayo matutunan sa ating pong lesson na to. It's going to be, I'll be launching a refresh of my brand of my YouTube channel. I'll be doing more of like a res seminar type. So, I entitled this one with how to create power resume, get hired. So, ito po yung ating pong Bago po tayo magsimula, I'm very excited to tell you that ito pong series na to is will be very helpful sa mga naghahanap po ng work at saka sa mga walang at saka mga wala pong mga job experience. So I'll be teaching you the secrets of uh, people para po magkaroon sila ng power resume. So, ito po we have a quotation here that says, okay, it's one of from the one of my favorite author. The single biggest mistake in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. Actually, po, marami po nakaakala na madali lang po ang communication. Pero po, pag po sila nito communicate na, and they will be telling themselves, "Oh my gosh, hindi ko, I wasn't able to convey or hindi ako naiintindihan." So, pag po nito communicate po ang importante po ay naiintindihan nyo tayo. So, ang paggagawa po ng resume ay isa pong nasa highest level ng communication. Kasi po dito, kailangan niyo pong ma-persuade yung mga recruiters niyo, hiring managers, that you are the best person for the job. Kaya po, importante na naiintindihan kayo. So, do not have the illusion na naiintindihan kayo o naibenta niyo yung skill niyo o kagagalingan niyo. We have to make sure na nakapag-communicate po tayo. So, I'll be sharing to you some of the techniques na ginagamit po ng mga hiring managers and recruiters when they are finding their employees or in hiring their employees. And dati po akong din, uh, ito po mga resume, pag po hindi namin nagustuhan sa unang tingin, then they will not be able to have the interview, the demonstration, and the psychological test. So it's very important that you impress your the recruiters or the people that will be immediately reading your resume. So, first technique po, I'll be sharing three techniques. So, the first one po, instead of using adjectives, you use power verbs. So, again, do not use much adjectives. You can use, but most, uh, more often than not, in your resume, mas marami po ang power verbs. So, instead of using, I'm very insightful, you can say, I noticed. What are you insightful about? I noticed yung, uh, yung queue namin sa customer service ay dumadami or humahaba. Kaya I took initiative in improving the system. So, instead of saying intelligent, you, you don't necessarily have to say it. Pwede mong makita by saying that I solved this. I solved this one. So, instead of saying intelligent, pakikita nila na intelligent ka. If you say, I solve the concerns of departments, okay, especially the marketing department of the concern, okay, over refreshing the brand. So, I solve. Instead of saying you're skilled, you can say achieved. What did you achieve? Okay? Did you achieve high rating in your examination? Did you have high rating in your thesis? Fresh grad. So that would be great if you can write that. Next, instead of saying self starter, you can say initiated. What did you initiate? Uh, did you initiate to be a liaison of the department? Like you're acting like a liaison manager. You can tell them specifically what you initiated instead of saying competent, constructive, instead of saying devoted, you work for. So, nakikita niya po, uh, these are power verbs. So, very important na. Makahanap tayo ng appropriate na verbs para mas makita nila na yung ating mga how we describe ourselves is something na na measure at alam talaga natin yung sinasabi. 
some of the words na pwede natin gamitin, instead of saying responsible for as an adjective, you can say I acquired, I completed, I created, I executed, and I forged. For example, it's very nice na the verb completed, na hindi ka na nag-umpisa, pero talagang tinapos mo. These are some of the verbs na magugustuhan ng mga nagbabasa ng iyong resume. You can also, for more power verbs, cake, kung appropriate to, you can try also to use the these one or diverse, use diverse verbs. Siyempre, you have to look first kung ano dito ang appropriate para siya. Iyo. Navigated, negotiated, operated, partnered, performed, prepared, produced, secured, and succeeded. Succeeded, napakaganda ng verb na ito. Nagamit niya talaga ito. Next, please, we have the... Uh, you can use also these words. Instead of saying I'm team player, pwede niyo pong ipakita that you are a team player. Even if without mentioning the team player, you can use acknowledge, assimilated, blended, coalesced, collaborated. These are very modern terms and contributed. So by the way, I forgot to make, make mention in the beginning po, uh, I took many of these words at https zeti.com. So you can visit the website. Dabi-dabi po nilang action words and it's a great website. Okay, later on po, ginamit ko po yung monster.com or some of the sentences. So you can also visit the so thank you so much and I would like also to acknowledge the first one who have allowed me to use this resume picture. Okay, it was also taken from the PowerPoint by Creative Commons. And if I'm not mistaken, he or she has a license of CC here, B Y N C N G, whoever you are. Thank you so much. If I maybe misread the license, I'm trying to buy N C N D 3.0. So, thank you so much, NCND 3.0, for allowing us to and for the Creative Commons to use your picture to make our presentation. Okay. So again, instead of a team player, you can you can opt to use or you, I recommend you to use acknowledged, assimilated, blended, coalesced, collaborated is a very good term and contributed. So, talagang very in words I napapakita na may ginawa ka at mayroon kang naipo-contribute. It was a very good, these are very good words. By the way po, kung present naman siya, o ikaw ay employed pa, you can use the present if at nagaling lang po yung D. So, acknowledge, I assimilated, I blend, I co, I assimilate, I blend, I coalesce, I collaborate, contributed. So, you can say, I collaborate with my team, or I collaborate with other department, and coming up with the great ideas in, in, this, in an event that you'd like to mention. Anyway, we have also here the four diversified, embraced, encouraged, energized, energized, the very word, gathered, harmonized, ignited. And for example, um, you'd like to tell them that you're a very, very good team player, I mean to say that embrace the subcultures from different people, our company and I harmonize them, I make them embrace each other. Okay, so nowadays, um, for the presence of technology, some people are getting to be introverts, so you really be above of the rest if you are a team player. So, do not only use team player if you would like to use it, but use these power boards para mas mapansin ng resume. Let me just add to some of the power words. Siyempre, i-research ko na mas marami. Malalay man, try to find out in the dictionary or how these words are typically used in a sentence para mas maganda. But you can use and practice using these words when joined, melded, merged, participated, partner, united, and volunteered. Yung volunteer na yun, napakagaling, especially if you're a fresh one. If you keep on volunteering to your professors, Okay, specifically, like if you volunteer to lead the class or the project, okay, it means it's an additional point because it will show na um, you really want the project or the thing to be accomplished. That's why it's a great, you're a great, they will have this impression that you're a great person 
and you have a great connection. Try to use these words if it's appropriate for your resume, authorized, shared, cultivated, delegated, directed, executed, enabled, facilitated, fostered, and guided. Okay, if you want to show that you're a leader, the person that possesses great leadership, instead of mentioning great leader and leadership, they would know that you're a great leader if you use these words and they would be impressed of your resume. Next. I have also here some other verbs. You can use also headed, boosted, inspired. Well, inspired. I like it. Mentor, say that you're coached and you really would like to help people. So it's nice. It's mobilized. You move people into action. You operate it. You orchestrate it. You offer so You spearhead it. means to say head. You led. So also you train. Because if you're a trainer, it means to say that you love teaching, uh, then they would know that you have very great communication skills, which is a very, very great skill or attitude that is um, preferred by most employers. You can also have these words para mas makapili ka, kung ano na mas appropriate at mas tama sa iyong trabaho. Then mas malalaro mo yung words kasi you have a lot of choices. You have advocated, offered, clarified, composed, consulted, conveyed, convened, Corresponded, defined, and explained. Okay. Very great verbs. More, more from our website. Fielded, illustrated, influenced, informed, mediated, moderated, negotiated, promoted, persuaded, and publicized. Okay, and then that. So, for example, if there are like complaints and you try to negotiate with a customer, I'm going to look at the word name. This is a person that could increase value to the to the company because you love negotiating, you love communicating, you love and if there are conflicts in the company then you're a person that could talk to these different teams or clients. So, okay. Next uh, I have gathered here some of the sentences that are more specific to our example. So again the first is you can use verbs. Pero po, pag gumamit kayo ng verbs, second technique is, dadagtuman niyo po ng concrete, or more concrete than words. So, for example po, create it. Uh, um, you have to show them what you create, how to create, uh, then that's better. So, you can add more concrete, concrete words or concrete phrases to give more meaning to your verbs. Created what? Created a fan site for musical band, as well as built and managed a team of through regular news and content contributors. The website was mentioned in Loudbar. So, pansin niyo po, you have three concrete verbs here, or power verbs created, built, and managed. And then, he or she added concrete phrases or more modifiers to your verbs. Okay? So, I also get another one here. So it's a resume of biology intern. Then she put perform GNA cloning test. So nakita niya po yung verb, action verb niya performed. And then you have more complete phrases, DNA to what? What did she perform? Perform GNA cloning test. And ang pangatlo pong technique, is if you're writing a resume, is you have to write quantifiable or measurable or percentage or numbers that would be great. Perform the including complete phrases with whom? With team of three research users. So if you can, you can add numbers, percentage, that's another technique. So to combine the three techniques, uh, or two techniques, sa mga sentences ko, uh, maari kong my verbs na may concrete phrases or very concrete phrases and then okay also some sentences here a combination of the three concrete ver um, concrete phrases you have also the power verbs and the quantifiable percentage of numbers so develop if you're applying for a social media manager some of the sentences you can use is develop manage online marketing campaigns for diverse industry clients driving brand awareness, engagement, and traffic. What did you develop and manage? Complete po, online marketing. 
Thanks. For whom? For diverse buy-ins. For what purpose? For driving brand awareness, engagement, and traffic. Napakalino po. And then work closely with clients to develop and execute a meaningful, active social content calendar, managing all phases, digital marketing initiatives from content to the delivery and optimization. So, makikita niyo po. You have here work, low, work, develop, execute, managing. He or she used four power verbs. And then, dinagdagan po niya ng mga power uh, concrete phrases. Okay, concrete phrases. So, instead of saying work, dinagdagan po niya ng closely. And then she answered, what did she execute? A proactive content calendar. And what did she manage? All phases, digital marketing initiatives from concept to deliver and optimization. So, mga modifiers na ginamit niya ay very, very concrete. Okay, thank you so much for www.monster.com where I got those sentences from. So, ito po yung pong makita, additional po, nakifocus po to sa numbers. Ito pong some examples po dito na uh, the ter third technique in writing your resume it should be quantifiable as much as possible. If you have, okay, how did you raise, raise the revenue? Is it 20%? That would be great. How did you cut costs? 10%? Then, mas maganda po nun, pakita nila na ito ang sinasabi nila nyo, and you're not just bluffing. So, you can write successfully completed client projects worth up to $470,000. Okay? And then, you can also use provider proposal layout and design for a million dollar corporate contracts and extremely tight deadline. Very concrete po yung mga rewards na ginamit. Establish trusting relationship with designers, vendors, and people. Not only establish relationship, but put trusting relationships. Consistently recognized for fresh ideas, innovative, and applications. Pero pansin niyo po yung verb na recognize, nilagyan pa ng adverb para po mas matibay. Do not hesitate to add adverbs to your verb. So consistently, religiously, okay, uh, these are some of the adverbs na mas mapapaganda. Okay, extremely, okay, very great ad adverb na pwede natin itagdag sa verb para po mas maganda. Religiously. Okay, develop new art tracing system that increase overall quality of production, improve customer satisfaction by 97%. Pero mo kung nasin yung punto, ay nandito po yung tatlong techniques. Uh, meron po tayong developed, what, concrete phrases or modifiers, and then meron po tayong quality of production, improve customer satisfaction was increased by 97%. Okay? So, napakaganda po ng mga examples na to. And kapag po, again, kapag po ginamit niyo yung verbs and then you have power phrases and modifiers and yung numbers po, percentage, uh, how many people have you managed? Did you manage 3 to 20 people? Did you help a lot of trainees? Ano ang naging metrics nila? Nakikita ba sila na mataas na metrics? It is few. And then, the more concrete and specific the words are used, the better para po makita nila na okay, hindi lang parang binabluff mo sila pero makakalculate nila at makita nila na totoo because you did it in the past or you're doing it right now. So yung pong ating mga verbs ay marami po, marami maganda na mapapagpiliin. So hanap po kayo ng hanap. You can also check out yung pong mga mga resume po sa inyong industry para mas makita niyo po kung ano po ang inyong pwede pang gamitin ng words. Okay? Pwede pong uh, kumuha ng mga model pero po wag po kayo manggagaya kasi po kapag nanggaya na po ay bound for plagiarism. Kaya po kung napapansin niyo po sa ating presentation, some of the sentences, uh, although some of the words I've gotten from zeta.com and also some are from zeni.com and some are from monster.com and I have put it here because it's not for me. Pero po yung mga, syempre yung kwento ko, yung experience ko dito ay galing po sa akin. Kaya po, okay, I am very proud of this, of this production. Anyway, um, tumigatanangon po kayo. Po, um, dahil po medyo marami na lang experience sa ating pagbigawa ng resume, naging din na po ako, consultant, educator, at ang aking pong hindi po ako doon po doon graduate. Meron po akong linguistics in, sa BNU po, pero po sa University of the Philippines naman po. 
ay ang aking pong PhD ay sa College of Arts and Letters, uh, major in English Studies, and of course, yung aking master's degree na natapos ko ay major in Communication. So, medyo mahaba na rin po ang narating po, po sa mga words and vocabularies. If you'd like to be helped by me, you can reach me po by putting a comments here, let me know where I can reach you, and you can also contact me in my messenger, Sin Thea. Okay, so pwede po name na Sin Thea, just put a space. And of course, if you'd like to check out, in the future po, I'll be putting this one in our website, which is site slash website. Uh, by the way, Paul, thank you so much for being here. I'll be having a refresh of my YouTube channel. I'll be giving more of the kind of webinar, seminar in the future. So I hope you'll stick around. And thank you so much. Please like, share, and of course, like and subscribe if you'd like to encourage me. I'll be happy to, to do this one for all of us and for those people now who'd like to help. So, sana rin po pakisubscribe para po ma-encourage po to produce more video na instead po na-ibenta ko sa Udemy or sa magawa po ako ng e-books, I'll be sharing for, for free po sa YouTube. Thank you so much. Have a great night. And may God bless us all. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye po.